Well, we are into a busy entertaining season. You got your pool parties, backyard barbecues, little carnival gatherings and so forth. And so I thought I'd give you some ideas for cocktails and various beverages. I had to call on Miss Angelina Williams, who is a food and beverage expert. She's here with us. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, I'm my happy girl. to be here. Awesome. And so before we dive into all of this, we're going to talk a little bit specifically about Caribbean rum and yes. well, rum based things. Yes. yes. Uh, we I want to remind people to always drink responsibly. Always drink responsibly. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might taste good, but you know, we want to make sure you have it in moderation. That's right. So, what is rum? I, it is good it's, question. It's a, a, a sugar byproduct. It's made from sugar cane, molasses. It's distilled, and uh, there's a few different types of rum. Uh, there is white rum, which is um, distilled after a very short period of time, and then. Uh, refined. There is the gold or amber rum, we know like Captain Morgan's, that type of lighter color rum is like a, again, gold or amber, just like the name. Uh, there is a dark or black or navy rum. Navy. And that is aged for a really long time and it becomes a little bit more sweeter. We're more, we're more familiar with the, the dark rum. They have a, a big, bold flavor um, and a little bit sweeter. And then you have spiced rums. So like. spiced rum is is a, has a lot more stuff added to it. Um, you have notes of like vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, um, and it uh, caramel even. So you get a, a, the same dark uh, color as a dark rum, but a lot more flavor. Mm. And what is the difference? What is overproof and under and okay. waterproof? <laughs> and so so when when uh, rum is initially distilled, it is at about. 169 to 190 proof. What does that mean? So what we are used to having in our stores is about 80 to, to 90 proof. That's about 40 to 50 percent alcohol or 80 to 100 proof. It's about 40 to 50 okay. percent alcohol. Okay. Now in order for uh, rum to come into Canada, it needs to be under 150 proof. So what we're familiar with is um, like a Ray Nephew, which is a Jamaican white rum. That's about 129 proof. Mm. However, in St. Vincent, they have a, uh, white, a white rum. Um, um, Sunset. Sunset, exactly. <laughs> and that is, uh, at, per, presently on the market, the strongest rum you can get. You would use it uh, for flambe, for example, because it's, again, it's a, a lot of yes, alcohol in put that. some hay on your chest. Right, but you, can, you can't get that here. You can't even right. bring it in. I mean, unless you have someone that can... I was just going to say, I know a few people, but it's okay. We want to talk about that. It's, we're going to keep it clean, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So that's pretty much what the difference is between overproof is, is anything that's more than 50% alcohol. Okay. And then proof rum is something that's between 40 and, and 50, which is what we're typically used to. Well, I haven't heard anything you said because I was <laughs> focused on these things. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm joking. But can you take, give us a few ideas here? I know you've put together some creations. Right. So rum, just like um, something like a spirit like uh, vodka, is very versatile. And you can make almost any cocktail variation with rum. Rum, whether it's a white, white rum, an amber rum, a dark rum, or a spiced rum. It's really, really versatile. So we have two well, three cocktails here. The first two uh, is a mango pina colada. Can and I we're, taste it? Uh, you, absolutely, absolutely. It's made with, uh, we're using a spiced rum. The Baron San Sandy is a uh, Haitian spiced rum. That's so right. So again, has uh, those wonderful um, vanilla and, and cinnamon notes mm. to it. Uh, so we have some cream and mango and uh, coconut cream. I love it. Did you taste it? I haven't, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in with you. So I love I'm my mine one. a little bit stronger. I like that. It's this so one's a little creamy. bit mellow mellow. It's absolutely creamy. super mm -hmm. refreshing. Great to put into if you have a slushy machine. Or like can you make custard? I feel like it's a little Yeah you could definitely make a custard with it. Oh what's this called? So this is a uh, mango it? pina colada. Mango pina colada. Okay. Yes. What about this and guy? And so I'm going to have you name this. Every island that I know of has a variation of rum and malt and sweet milk. So we have some okay. heavy cream, some whipped cream, nutmeg, uh, some of the spice rum, and malt. <laughs> Wait, my straw is stuck on the bottom. <laughs> She's like, forget the straw. I just go in there. So we, of course, with this rum, because it is a spice rum, it's a, li a little bit more milder in its flavor in terms of a white rum, mm -hmm. but it is uh, definitely something great to use with a cream base. Okay. Uh, mm. This is, we're gonna call this um, <laughs> uh, sunrise, I don't know. Give me, I don't know I, You know terms. what, this to me is like a sunset. 
Okay, you that's know? a definite. Think, think about after dinner, great after dinner There's cocktail. some words I want to use, but again, I want to keep it clean. <laughs> so it sounds weird. I just don't know what to say without it it's, sounding yes, it is, it's a, it's a, weird. Again, that, that strong, I creamy. I like this. How you know so good? This is me. I love like all cream, Irish cream, like there any of those. Yeah. That's, this is yeah. me. And this but, is kind of our, our Caribbean version of like an Irish cream, if you will. Oh, I love that. With that malt. Can we try to make something? So we are definitely going to make something. We're going to make, again, another oh. Caribbean staple, which is a dark and stormy. Um, mm. Those pe Our friends out in uh, Bermuda know a whole, lot, of, yes, a whole lot about this. So it's a very simple recipe. You have your dark rum. Mm -hmm. You have your ginger beer. Okay. You have your lime. All right. Okay. So we have our shaker with a little bit of ice. We're gonna. I'm hopefully gonna try to keep this a little clean. We have a little bit of lime juice, not too much. Uh -huh. So this is a little bit refreshing. Those two before were um, very, you know, sweet and creamy. This Got is a little it. bit more refreshing. We have a little bit of mint. We're gonna throw in here. Now, if you have a modern pistol, if you are a little bit more seasoned, you would kind of mu uh, muddle. Oh, one of those. Right. Right. Yeah. Muddle your your. Um, your lime and or so your lime and um, mint. mint, and I don't measure. I just kind of eyeball it, right? Because we're grown people here, <laughs> so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay. But I mean, you okay. usually do about two, two, three ounces That's or cool. so. That's cool, you know, you know. And but again, a dark and stormy is a stronger drink, in my opinion. A and real this good. Is... This is ginger beer. Okay, right. right. So again, uh, most I, I mean, there's some people that will use okay. um, cola or something like that, but we're trying to make it authentic, right? Yes. So we're gonna grab. Oh, go ahead. Can well, I, you, you want to hold on I because it's carbonated. I've never done this, actually. Right. Well, here, before you start. Oh, jeez. Okay. Right. Before you start, we're going to hold this and this like this. No, and it's then, already go. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> nice try, though. Good attempt. Good Thanks. attempt. Yeah. And we're going to take it away from ourselves. Okay. And we're going to hold on really tight. Oh, okay. Whoa! See? <laughs> See the fun? See all the excitement? Okay. All the excitement. And we, what we've done is we just garnished with some mint and some lime. Amazing. And here we go. A nice dark and stormy. Now this is actually one of my faves. Dark and stormy night. There we go. A dark and stormy night. Okay, I, I promise you I'm not. <laughs> Here we go. You haven't even drink, had that oh, much to cheers. drink yet. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Thank you, Angelina. My pleasure. And where can people find you if they want more Well, info? you can find me at tastemylife.ca or you can find me, I contribute an article to YYZ Living Magazine every week where we have tons of tips on uh, food and beverage. Awesome. And events happening in the city. <gasps> this is so great. Mm. Thank you so much, Angelina. Cheers. cheers.